that for 30 days is fine by me. Hello everyone, how are we doing? Welcome to a very, very exciting video, very exciting vlog. This is my packing, prep, what's in my backpack video for Costa Rica. I go to Costa Rica literally, so it's Monday now. My boyfriend comes tomorrow evening, like at like 11 p.m. He's coming up, getting the train after work. And then we've got Wednesday, and then we go Thursday morning. So it's currently Monday, so we've got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I guess, kind of like three days. I'm so <laughs> excited. Today is my last, I want to be done with work, like ready, holiday mode, by tomorrow afternoon, because my brother is also coming tomorrow. So I've got a few things to do Wednesday. I've got like eyebrows, eyelashes, I've got blood tests, I've got nails later today, but like I've got one final podcast to film that I just planned and oh my God, it's a fucking banger. I think it's my favorite podcast yet. I mean, I'm obviously about to film it, so I've not filmed it, but the plan is, I literally almost didn't want to film the final podcast because I just didn't know. I kind of felt out of inspiration, out of ideas, creativity. I didn't want it to be out of date by the time I got to it because this is not going live until the 2nd of October. But I'm so glad I just took a few days and left it because it is a fucking banger. It's all about how simple life is like at, at its core. And it is just, I think, so good. I've just planned it. I'm gonna go film it now. So that takes about an hour. I'm so excited for it to go live. And then I'm gonna finish Phoebe's podcast post. So Phoebe Illustrations does my post for the podcast like she makes them so I'm sending her every single post that's like going live in September just because obviously they're all pre-filmed so I know what the posts are going to be so I was like do you want me to just send you them so you can kind of do them in your own time like if you have more time one week you can get like two weeks worth done if you want so you've got nothing to do the next week she was like yeah I'd love that and then I think it'll be time to go get my nails done and also I have a white fox order coming today so I've been waiting for my white fox order so that I can like finish packing so it's got a few bits I obviously want to take with me and that part of the video is sponsored by white fox so I'm excited to show you that so the order comes today which is really good timing and I've ordered some bits that I think are so practical and so good and I feel like I've really nailed the packing this time I'm taking one packing cube of clothes to Bali I took two like large packing cubes way too much so overwhelming literally didn't even wear some of it so, which is not ideal for a month holiday you do not want to be left with things that you're not wearing like that's what opens white fox parcel so this clothes on I have actually already had a white fox parcel which is where this top is from and I love it but the sizing was slightly off. I would say if you're in between sizes in white box. So the majority of it is like extra small, small, medium, large. I'm a 10. Like a pretty comfortable 10. I wouldn't say I'm ever a 12. I have no clothing that's a 12. And all of the bottoms that I kind of got in a small didn't really fit me. So I was like, can I do another order please? Because the sizing was wrong. So I did that. I'm so excited for this. This is hopefully my airport outfit, if it all fits. I'm sure it will. They're just like great. Oh my God, they are nice quality. They are thick. Oh my God, they're so nice. Oh my God, love. So they're just these little gray marshals with a little blue white fox in the corner. And then a matching sweatshirt, not hoodie. Oh my God, what size did I get this in? Small to medium or medium large? I got a small medium. That looks like a good oversized fit. So it's literally just gray, gray mile again with the blue white box. And I just love gray mile. I feel like you can't go wrong. So that's the airport fit. This I really want to bring. So I ordered this in a small, extra, extra small slash small. Bit hopeful. I also don't have any boobs and it was just didn't really fit. So I ordered it again in a medium to large. So I didn't have a small medium. Look at this. It's literally just sparkles, pure sparkles. Should I try it on? Okay, and then I got, oh, I got this top in two different colors because I just had to. I'm literally obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with the material. I'm obsessed with the fit. They're not see-through. I love them. So I got black, which I will like probably most definitely bring. I just love them. These are called the, everything will be linked down below. These are called the New Lover Crops. And then I got this color, which I just love. I think it's called Slate or something. It's just like this gray, yeah, slate. It's just this gray, but on the model, it just looked so gorgeous. Now, I do want to bring this, but I just feel like this is going to be sweat marks galore. So maybe not in a hot foreign country, but for like day to day, I love that color. And these tops are like exactly what I need in my wardrobe at the moment. I have no basics. 
Okay, let's go for it. I can't actually remember everything that's... Oh, yes, I can. Oh, my God. There's a set in here that I'm so excited about. A few sets I'm so excited about. Bang. And it's on top. This is one of them. I'm unsure if I'm going to... Oh, my God, the quality of that is insane. Oh, my God, there's so many sets in here I'm so excited for. I don't know if I'm going to bring this one. I can't decide. I'll try it on to see how much I love it. But it's this, like, little crop. Again, I like these tops. Like, they're not really a crop but they're not like baggy long vest in this like kind of fiery kind of pattern this time i got it in a medium in hopes that it fits a bit better but i just have a little i think my bum is slightly too big for these but i'm so excited i love the colors of them in my head i thought it was going to be a lot darker that is still summer vibes i might bring that and then i got this which i don't think i'm going to bring just because it's denim so it's i might wear this out on wednesday we're going for like a dinner and then this is the skirt maybe i'll bring the skirt because this is quite cute and this kind of goes with everything low key because it's just like denim so i might bring that this is what i'm really excited for so i ordered this in white in my last order but i ordered the shorts in small and it just didn't really fit um so i got it again but i decided to get it in pink because realistically i already have white linen shorts so i don't know why i did get the white set yeah take me out shirt um which is just a big pink kind of like linen-y style shirt and then the matching shorts and I kind of needed another pair of easy shorts and I thought why would I not do pink I don't have anything pink and then I decided to get a gorgeous dress which again I can't decide if I'm gonna bring I need to try them all on because I'm trying to be a minimal minimalist but it's just like this orange cut out dress which is super cute and I might have to bring we'll see we'll see how it fits and then I got this because I needed a cute white basic top and I got it in a medium again because it's corset style and the stuff comes up slightly on the smaller side, I think. So hopefully this fits perfectly. I shall try it all on. I'm just filming a, like every single thing I'm bringing for TikTok. So if you want to see literally every piece I'm bringing, then head over there. But I forgot to show you my favourite white fox piece. Look at this dress. I won't try this one on because it's pretty obvious what it looks like. It's like longer at the front, shorter at the sides. That's actually the front of it. I mean, it's the same either way, but this is my favourite piece. I love this. Guys, I'm in a gorgeous fucking mood. Podcast done. The post sent to Phoebe, done. I'm so proud of myself for getting all of these podcasts pre-filmed. Yeah, but like for doing it in like a stress-free like environment. Everything's done. That's my last podcast done. That's all the podcast work kind of done for now-ish. And now I'm going to eat some lunch. My White Fox order just came. I literally ordered that. Let me see when I ordered that. I ordered it on Monday and it's now Monday, a week. But bear in mind, it's been the weekend, it's been bank holiday, it's coming from Australia. That is so good. When it came before, I swear it came in like four days. I think I ordered it on the Monday. They told me it was going to come the next Monday and it came on the Thursday. That's the thing of DHL. They're like coming on Wednesday and I meant that. I was like, that means it's coming on Monday. And then you get an email on Monday morning saying it's actually coming today. It's like a fun little surprise. But I've literally got about 50 minutes until I need to leave for my nails and stuff. So I'm going to eat lunch and get ready. I say get ready, just like put some appropriate clothes on. Okay, there was like some roast chicken there from like, well, you know, a roast chicken my dad made yesterday. So I've literally just got a wrap. I'm obsessed with the cheddar cheese at the moment. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's literally spinach, cheese, cucumber, chicken. I'm going to eat this put on a YouTube video and just like chill for a minute because I'm on such a good morning. We are ready to go. It's kind of a sleigh outfit. Well, it's not. But it's a cute casual outfit. Oh, you can't even see. I've got like great cargoes on. And these shoes that much the outfit. Guess bag. So I'm not gonna bring my camera or anything I film, I'll film on my phone, but I'm literally getting my nails and my toes done, so it's not like what would I film? I'm not gonna just like film my feet. Can't film my nails because my hands are like this. I have a feeling she's probably gonna do them both at the same time, but if I can, I'll film. I think I'm gonna do like a fun multicolored French tip on the hand because I don't want anything that's gonna be obvious. When it grows out, I'm probably pink on the toes because I always do pink on the toes. Hello. So I have just come out of my nails. My feet, they're like I'm walking on a dream. My nails, they're good. Can you see the like excess? I don't know how much you're going to be able to see this. Does that one have it? This one I've not picked apart yet. Can you see the pink inside my nail? Like, I've kind of picked them all apart walking home now. Can you see that? Let me pick this and you'll be able to see. 
basically I got like this one's not very pickable it's really on my nail she used this like tool I'm sure you've seen them on TikTok you know the like plastic thing that you paint on and you like stick your nail in like here we go can you see that like line of pink and she basically used it to do them and they look adorable they look so freaking cute but my nails just have so much paint in them now like she didn't like get rid of all the look paint properly can you see that <laughs> but my feet feel adorable and the place is really cute um, I'm hoping my eyebrows go well on Wednesday. I'm always scared for a new eyebrow place because my Leeds brow lady has my absolute heart. Okay, let's go home. Let's open our White Fox order. And then I can literally pack up all of my clothes. Like, there's not really anything else I'm waiting for. Hello. So it's currently Tuesday. It's been a day. So God, it feels like forever ago since I vlogged this. I've done so much. I went out with the girls for a drink yesterday but I just drove and then this morning we also went for breakfast but I didn't want to vlog that because I thought this is a packing video you know this is supposed to be about what we're packing and yesterday I filmed a TikTok of like everything I'm bringing so go and look at that if you want to see like literally like every piece of clothing I'm bringing and stuff but I'm actually going to go ahead and take some of it out because I just don't need that <laughs> I just don't need that much so Right now, I was just about to finish editing a video, like the last bit of work I have to do. And I just don't think I want to. I don't think I like the video very much. So it's actually for a brand. So I'm just seeing if they want to push it back one week and they can be in the first travel vlog. Because the vlog that I filmed last week just doesn't, doesn't, doesn't it's not giving anything. It's not literally not giving anything. But I'm just clearing out some of my SD cards now. Just so that I know I'm going with like lots of free SD cards ready to be filmed on. So I'm literally just going through all of these now. Um, and I'm also gonna go and, I'm gonna charge my drone now. Just cause my boyfriend comes tonight. So I would like my bag pretty much like packed up, like most things in it ready. And like my drone, she takes up a fair amount of room in the backpack. So I just wanna get going with it all really. Right, so let's reevaluate here. As I said, if you've watched the packing for Bali vlog, I ended up with five, started with five packing cubes, ended up with three. I had a bikinis and underwear, which is exactly what I've got here. I've got four bikinis and one swimsuit. To Bali, I took eight bikinis. Found myself reaching for the same like three and one top, same, same four or five essentially. So I've got this four and five and then I got a swimsuit because I really wanted a swimsuit in Bali, like a few days, like, you know, if you're water parking, water rafting, like something that you're gonna be in a bikini all day, but it's a bit active -y. like swimsuit's it's nice. And then I had a smaller packing cube and then this large packing cube. So I'm only taking this large packing cube to Costa Rica because it's all you need. But I want it to, to be fair, it's not like that crazy full. Like it unzips and zips very easily. But I think she needs a bit of a switcheroo. Like there's some stuff in here I don't need. So I've got two gym sets, which I think is necessary, especially when you have a boyfriend who's like mine. And then this gym top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out um, this one pair of shorts that I just don't think, you know the kind of shorts you think, they're so cute, but they're a bit hard to match. And whenever I put them on, I'm always like, mm, I wish I was kind of wearing something else. So if I'm gonna take back out, I'm actually deciding I'm gonna take this out because now this only matches one skirt. Okay, and then I'm also maybe gonna take out the other top that went with it. No. I'll tell you what I'm gonna put in. I've got two shirts, three dress three dresses, one play suit. I don't know how many tops I have, but they take up literally this much room. Like these are this, that's three of my tops. <laughs> maybe like ten tops, which I feel like is fine. That's okay. The one tip I can give for if you're going travelling, on my behalf anyway from my experience with the things I have packed, is bring more casual daytime clothes. Bring practical flowy shorts that are comfy. I only had one pair in Bali and I literally lived in them. Is two shirts excessive? Yes. Am I gonna leave behind the sh shirt, the matching shorts? No. Am I only gonna bring a print shirt? No. Did I wear a single shirt in Bali? Nope. So why am I bringing two again, you might ask? I don't know. Also, I do think Costa Rica is a little bit colder. And I just feel like, regardless, you want shirts. 
Anyway, what still needs to go in is these comfy white shorts. One linen. Which, come on, that's a necessity right there. Three comfy shorts is allowed. And these are gonna get worn a lot. I already know they are. So I've got a whole one less packing cube than last time. That's fine. There's one dress I think I should take out, but I just really want it. But I just don't know if I'm actually gonna wear it. Okay, now this packing cube is doing what a packing cube does. One packing cube of clothes for 30 days. That's so allowed. I'm not even gonna let someone tell me that's not impressive for me. We're talking about the girl who brought 23 kilos to Paris for four days. That for 30 days is fine by me. Okay, I'm just sorting some stuff out and then we're gonna clear this bed and leave only on it things that I'm bringing. But the drone is charged, so I brought that up so that we can see where it's gonna fit. This little bag came in, came with uh, my set of packing cubes. And in Bali I had really random stuff in it, but I'm gonna put it in like, kind of some random toiletry bits. So I've got my toothbrush, which I'm sure will find its way into all different kinds of bags, <laughs> whatever's last in it. I've just put some like flossing things in. This is my makeup remover towel. I do want to find my mini makeup, like my cellar water. And then I'm just gonna put loads of these <laughs> cotton buds, which necessity definitely bring into a bag because I do not need them all. And then also from Boots earlier, I got some cotton pads, again, to go with the micellar. I know it's extra, like I'm going to bring cotton pads, micellar water, a makeup remover, towel, and wipes. But <laughs> I take back what I said. As soon as I said it out loud, I was like, I don't need all of that. I'm taking out the makeup pads. Because, as I just said, I've got a makeup remover towel, which I always use. And if the wipes, and if... It doesn't take off my eye makeup, which sometimes it doesn't. I won't even be wearing mascara, actually, because I'm getting my eyelashes LBL tomorrow, which I will bring you along to. We've got makeup towel, floss, toothpaste, earbuds. Right, and then in here is a load of sun cream, and I might just ask my boyfriend if he wants this. He can bring it, because... I went and bought myself a new bum bum cream, so that's what I'll be using. So in here I have got which I didn't bring originally to Bali, but I'm gonna bring this time because like I said, I'm consciously trying to bring less. So like I've got the space for it in my case. It's just all of our sun creams, which I do have four because in Bali we used five. Um, and I would tell my boyfriend to take some, but I think I've got the room for it. And if I don't, like, this is probably the last thing I'm gonna put in. So if I don't need it, I won't do it. But I've got four sun creams, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, toothpaste, and a hair mousse, and bikini wax strips which I might put in here actually, in this little box. I might take them out of the box. I only did this because in Bali, I couldn't get my bikini line wax anywhere. And your gal goes for a wax every two to three weeks. So I do not want to ruin it by shaving once when we're there. So this is a little random essentials. And then I'm obviously gonna pack my makeup bag, but we're going out for a meal tomorrow with my brother and everyone. So I don't want to do that just yet. What else did I buy from Boots, you might ask? mozzie spray which i'm gonna go and put in this one you've got even more of it and then i did buy some flight compression socks which probably not necessary but apparently they're also really helpful for pots if you're going on long walks and stuff so i thought you know what i didn't want to buy them but i thought i may as well and i did actually get a size six to eight now i'm like a five and a half but i am pretty sure i had the three to six on the plane to bali and they were way too tight on me so I got a size up, which I know compression socks are meant to be tight, obviously. And I got the, like, nude ones, so they're just hopefully not as ugly. I know they're meant to be tight, but, like, I've got fat calves. Like, they were really tight on me. Like, are you joking? I don't want to wear that. So I'm going to put these straight in my hand luggage, which is this backpack that I got, which is literally perfect. It's from Lululemon. And... As I said, it seems literally perfect though. Spare charger straight in here, just in case, in the side pocket. <laughs> i
bags. As I said, found the most perfect practical crossbody, which I really, really wanted. So this is obviously coming with me. And then I want one more. And in Bali, the most used one was this little guest baby. Now she is 100% on her last leg. She's actually quite ugly at the moment. And I considered this because it is again, a really good size because your girl is bringing out phone, camera, purse. I have a tiny black one, which is the cutest thing in the world. And if I have a space in my case, I will probably bring it. But for now, it is white guess and a crossbody, which to me is fine. Like this goes with my stuff fine. For shoes, we are bringing Birkenstocks. Do I even need to say anymore? These black sandals, which you all love, they're from Koi Footwear, but they don't actually sell them anymore. They might sell similar. They're a vegan leather black sandal. They're literally the most ideal thing ever. They're all I wore in Bali because my cream ones broke the first day and I have bought a replacement of the cream ones. Obviously, I don't want to bring them again in case they break again. And then I'm stuck with my shoes. 90p black Primark flip-flops. These, again, are also... You need, you, you need these if you go anywhere because my Birkenstocks aren't very good at going wet. So if we ever go on any trips, that's why that why I wear. And then I'm going to be wearing my New Balance to the airport because we're going to be some hikes, some walks and stuff. So I just feel like these are the most appropriate trainers I own and I don't want to buy any. So that's that. I'm just going to quickly put, I've got another little plastic bag. Obviously I'll need to change it over at the airport. I've got some biodegradable like handy wipes, some hand sanitizer, and then I'm also gonna put a lip balm in this and a little body spray and put this in my hand luggage. Okay, I have done that. I've actually filled up a little tiny travel perfume thing. These are really good. I would have actually bought one of these if I remembered they existed, but I just seen my mum had loads of them. She must have just also bought them for travel, so I'll have to go tell her I've still one. They're these tiny, tiny like perfume th holder things. I think they hold they must hold hardly anything but basically at the bottom here i don't know if you can see that you basically take off the top of your perfume like the spray and you just like pump it into this and it fills up super easily got wipes lip balm hand sand perfume and i've just put some hair bands in just in case i need them and forget to put them in anywhere else i can't remember what i've said in this video but essentially i'm trying not to fill up the bottom or top of my bag really with like clothes and useless stuff so in the bottom I have got, and I'll probably end up putting a bit more in here, I've put a tote bag for like the beach and stuff. And I basically want to leave, so this bit of my bag is really big. It's like a whole hand luggage bag. It's massive. Um, so I've put two little totes in there because I want this to be my washing, which bring travel wash. So when I was traveling Bali, we had travel wash and stuff, but I had nowhere in my bag to put washing because I stuffed this bottom bit with a load of random stuff. The top had all my bikinis in, so there was nowhere to put it. So I put in two little bags so as I go I can like put underwear in, put bikinis in, put tops in and then I can easily find them when we go to laundry or travel wash. What I'm also going to put in this bottom bit probably is this which is my little raincoat which I bought especially for this trip because we're kind of going in rainy, rainy season. And then I'll also probably put in here my microfiber towel. This isn't mine. Um, I can't actually find mine. I don't know where I've put it but I remember folding it the other day after washing it so I'll have to ask my mum. But yeah so in the bottom I've literally got tote travel wash and raincoat and I'll probably put in my microbe towel and that's all I want to put in there. In the top, I can't remember if I've gone through this all so oops. I'm going to put in this little bit at the top. There's like another zip on the top. I'm going to put this bag in. Oh, there we go. It fits. So that's in there because ugh, trying to fill this bag with loads of little stuff is annoying. So in the like top top bit, there's another compartment here. So far I have got all of my electrolyte drinks which I don't know if they're better off coming out of the box. Yeah, I feel like they're fine in this box. So I'm gonna leave them in here. So I've got them. I've just come off my contraception, so I've no idea where I'm gonna start my period. So loads of period stuff. You can buy pads anywhere normally, but in Bali they didn't sell tampons. So I brought a load of tampons and then I've got my first aid kit. And if you wanna know exactly what's in my first aid kit, go over to my TikTok because I show you absolutely everything that's in here and it is the perfect first aid kit. So, so far that's all I have in the top. I'm just trying to keep it to like health stuff. Like I think I'm probably gonna put my meds in here and my vitamins and whatnot. So that's what's in there. And I think let's pack the backpack and see what we're working with. So what I do with the big one, this bag opens on the front like a 
suitcase but I really like the big one to line the bottom of the bag but it's actually like slightly too big so I just put it in and then I stuff it and see what I can do <laughs> get her in the best I can bang so now I'll zip it that's the hardest part of packing my backpack making sure look now there is so much room in here with only bringing one packing cube. I am gonna fucking ace this. Look at that. I don't know if you can tell. Look at the back. How much? Wait. Can you tell how much room that is? Like you can pack the bag up to there and it's literally just sat at the bottom of the bag. Like it's taking up that much room. Oh my god, guys, I've done so well. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know if this is normal for some people, but literally, this bag's half full. I understand now what my brother said. That bag's massive. What are you talking about? Yes, it is. I did kind of want to bring some fun belts, and now I've got room, so why not? Literally, the bag is... Let me show you again. So now I've got everything in there, pretty much. I literally just need to put in... It's just toiletries to go in. I don't know if you can tell how much room's left there. So now we're getting to the top bit of the bag. So like this is where the back bit ends, but you can stuff it up to this the whole way. So there's so much room. I don't know if you can technically really tell there. So, if I can ace it, extension cord, if you don't bring these, I don't know what you're doing, but I think I'm just gonna put this in the bottom of my bag. This is so excessive, I'm aware, but I know I had the space for it. So, put a makeup bag down the side of that, and that is literally mwah, perfectly full. Like, to a really nice amount of fullness. Like, it's not going to be super heavy, it's not going to topple me over. But it might be the same amount of heaviness, because now I've got loads of toiletries which I shouldn't have before. The thing with these types of bags is that there's pockets everywhere. And there's pockets on the side of these. I don't know how big they are, I don't know if they're book worthy. They are indeed. Let's go one either side. Okay, next on the travel agenda list is to fix this backpack. So, this is my brother's backpack from when he went traveling. And he was like, oh my God, it's the best backpack ever. And it's a really good backpack. But, if any of you have a backpack, is this sits on your waist. And then there's another, normally another strap here. And you can see how there was one but it broke off this side when my brother, brother had it and I never had it in Bali and I was meant to get my mum to do it for this trip because I thought it would make a huge difference and we've just like tested it. If there was a strap here and it makes a huge difference because the whole bag actually sits in your back because mine doesn't, doesn't even kind of, can you see literally the gap in between me? It doesn't even sit on my back, it's all on my hip. So, someone with a bad back, that's not ideal. So my mum's gonna fix it, but this is how it's looking. <laughs> this is how big it is currently, which is really good because this isn't full. So you just like pull it right down and this is kind of full but good morning i have a boyfriend now <laughs> we go tomorrow Woo! <laughs> last step on the agenda eyebrows and eyelashes now i am slightly terrified i've got a picture of when i like my eyebrows and I think the difference is the woman who does them in Leeds doesn't cut them as much as the last woman who did them here did. So I'm really praying they look okay. I don't think they'll look bad, maybe just not what I want. Extreme for a day. Yeah, but that's always a given. I mean, like last time she made them really short, like I didn't have any eyebrow left after this part and they weren't nice. And we'll see how my eyelashes done. I wasn't going to, but... I had them in Bali and it was like literally the best thing ever, so... And then I've got a blood test, but that's not really to do with preparation. <laughs> that's not really packing. It has been a disaster of a day. It's not, that's... Disasters may be a bit of an exaggeration, but it's I feel like it's just been one thing after another. If you're going anywhere via America, what are they called? Estes. 
Yeah. You have to do this form thing that we didn't do. And we... What? I didn't realise you were filming. <laughs> I just thought you were speaking out. And then, yeah, we had... This <sighs> should... It's just been one after another. I had my blood test and she couldn't fucking get out of the first arm she put it in. So then she pinched me in another arm with a bigger needle, with a smaller needle actually. And then I couldn't get my prescription and then we couldn't get my prescription again. And now we've just got my prescription and everybody's out and we're not. And we just went through a scammy website for this bloody U US visa thing and paid 50 quid instead of 14 and it's probably not even going to come in time we can't check into our flights and our seats have been changed I am happy <laughs> we're going on holiday tomorrow we're going to Prezzo now but my bag's pretty much all packed so that's good you've lost the world to live yeah guys I've been so moody all day it was after the blood test that was me it was just wiped. It was the letdown of still no prescription and then blood tests. But hopefully, do you know what was a good thing? So I knew my GPs were changing, so I added my COVID stuff onto my Apple, what's it called? Apple wallet thing. NHS. Like Yeah, like when I realized, because I knew that NS, NHS, <laughs> fuck me, the NHS, that's not what it even is, is it? That sounds weird when you say it slow. NHS. <laughs> Did you go H? Yeah, NHS. Yeah. H, yeah. Anyway, I, I knew it would be a kerfuffle, so I added it to an Apple Wallet, and then today I went on the, the NHS app to see if I could still get it, and it was, in fact, a kerfuffle. So, it's Krakow all over again. But me this time, but not because I'm a prepared queen and knew this was going to happen. But it does mean... It doesn't mean anything, but we don't have the things tomorrow, we have nothing. One thing about me when I'm in a mood, I find it really hard to get out of the mood. I am very aware of that. I try my best, but I just feel sometimes I'm just walking into a brick wall. Girls! <laughs> I feel like people want to group me. Sometimes you also just don't want to. I just want to be moody. Oh my god, guys, we've got Krispy Kreme donuts out This is a packet of blocks. Okay, and that is the end of that vlog. The next vlog, the first travel vlog, is coming sooner than you think. So keep your eyes peeled. But, yeah, that was me packing. Hopefully there were some good tips in there. Hopefully you got an idea. Like I said, there's a loads of stuff over on my TikTok about like exactly what's in my first aid kit, like a big toiletries haul that I did, uh, exactly what clothes I kind of brought, and stuff like that. And I'm going to be doing loads of travel stuff over on my TikTok, and obviously on here. Um, but, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye!